So when you go to the above position, you can go fast, right? And then you're gonna go down. Uh, you're gonna go down slower to at 100 millimeters a second. And then whenever you go up, you're also leaving that fixturing and everything still. So you wanna go up kind of slow, at least till you've cleared everything. And then you can, uh, you know, then you can retract more quickly. Okay, going back to the execution of this program itself, Ford, do you wanna start? I'm gonna say no. When I say no, it's gonna take me to back to where I was at in the program. So that's where it took me, okay? I was already there and we'll run through this again. So I'm just forwarding, just forwarding, just forwarding, boom. Jump to label 10, it jumped to the label 10. Okay, I'm gonna run through it again. So we're at the above position. We're at the position. Now we're back at the above position again. Okay. Um, again, running through the code, jump to label 10. We jump to the label 10. So whenever you guys were executing your programs at four, it would always get to the end and it would just stop. And then you wouldn't do nothing else. You had to go start back over at the top again. But this automa auto automatically takes you back to the top. So that way when the robot's in auto, it's performing that motion over and over and over again. So this is one of the first things that kind of you, you'll learn is just a, a jump to label and label. Boom, very simple. There's not any decision making going on here. And what I mean by decision making is there's no if anything. It's going to get to this line. It's going to execute the thing, right? Now, I'm going to leave that jump there. I'm going to create another instruction and give you an example of how something like this might work. So let's do an if statement. And let's say yes. Also, uh, instead of deleting, I can also just write an instruction over top of it again. Do you want to delete the lines? I'm going to say no. But you can just delete it if you want to just delete it. Shift button held down, no. Uh, so I can just write an instruction over top of it again. So go back to instruction, go back to the if statement. The thing that I wanna call out here in this if statement, I almost never use any of these if statements here. I just use this bottom if statement. This bottom if statement, the significance of it is you build the if statement. Meaning I can make this bottom if statement be any of these if statements. But if I choose one of these if statements, I can't modify it after I choose it. So that's one thing I don't like about it. The second thing is too, and this is the mo most major reason why I use this bottom if statement. This bottom if statement will give you more executable items. So the list in which this gives you the ability to do will be less than the list of the things that this gives you to do. And I'll, I'll hopefully I can show that in an example here. So I'll say if, Let's say register, we'll use a register, and I'll just say uh, register one, maybe something's there or not, I don't know. So if register one uh, is equal to a constant, constant means a number, you then have to signify what that number is. So I'll say five, okay? Jump to label, 